hello hello y'all it's been a hot minute since i've been on youtube but regardless welcome back to my channel my name is holly and you are on the planning and polish youtube channel today i'm going to be filming a plan with me for the week of november 30th in my happy planner classic so i'm going to go ahead and flip on over to that week and i'm going to speed up this video just a little bit so we're not here for a bajillion years i'm going to be using these rolls of washi tape and i'm going to be using this piece of paper and this is going to sound crazy y'all but i am not using any stickers today for this spread instead i'm also going to be using this paper block from recollections i got it from michael's on black friday for super duper cheap and it has so many cute foiled papers in here so i'm going to be using that and the paper <laughs> and the washi and that's it so i'm going to go ahead and take these papers out so that we can get started and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to lay down the piece of paper, the large piece of paper that I have. I have plans for this piece of paper. And what I want to do is basically spread it across the middle row. So I'm basically measuring it. And every time I've done this in the past, I never do it right. So I'm really determined to get this right today, y'all. So what I'm doing is I'm holding it up and I can actually see through the paper so I can see where the line is that I have to mark. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and um, it does take a lot of precision. <laughs> and I will say that I'm voicing over after I film this and it's still not 100% perfect, but I did do a much better job. So I'm cutting it with a pair of scissors, very, very simple. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to uh, see if it fits and if it's straight. And in this case, it's not 100% straight. So I'm actually going to whip out my paper cutter that I got from I want to say Walmart for very cheap and I'm just gonna put this in here just so that I can make it straight like I want my edges to be as straight as possible and I just can't get a straight edge cutting freehand with scissors as much as I've tried I just can't do it so I'm cutting it to make sure it's straight and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place it on over I have this it's by Elmer's it's basically like a tape runner and I'm going to use the back uh, I'm sorry I'm going to glue the back of it um, in a couple spots and I'm going to place it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And since I kind of already have some measurements already done, I don't really have to go as crazy measuring because I know that like, for example, this is the um, height of the box that I need. So now I have it and that's a good starting point for me. So I'm just going to do that and place it there and make sure it looks good and then what i'm going to do is basically just cut it where i've marked it so that it fits perfectly so i've used my elmer's tape runner which i think i also got at walmart and i am going to use that to place the paper and voila I actually am really happy with it I am using these pens um, these jewel tip pens were from Amazon and they are by the brand called Anart and they're really really cool they're kind of like calligraphy pens and as you can see I'm like not writing <laughs> yet because I wanted to just make sure it would fit in my head. That was me measuring in my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the black pen and use the, the thicker marker side and basically letter what I had in mind, which is tis the season. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. People always say that they can't believe that I am a lefty and I apologize that it's hard to see my lettering. It's just, you know, a lefty thing. <laughs> So I apologize that you can't really see what I'm doing, but people always say, oh my goodness, you're a lefty and you've got this great handwriting. It's true, I do. I don't know how I've gotten so lucky to have awesome handwriting. <laughs> I'm going to take this uh, washi tape, which came in a Park Lane papery um, washi tape bundle, I guess, if you will. It's like a pack of a bunch of holiday washies. I got it at Joann's probably like a year ago over a year ago um, but it has a lot of really cute ones and I really like this washi because it kind of reminds me of like an ugly sweater material and I think it contrasts the candy cane paper very nicely since the candy cane paper is mostly white and I'm basically just creating a border um, just because my cutting wasn't 100% straight and I feel like the washi is just gonna make it look really neat and um, it also just looks nicer to have those borders around the white paper since it's not 
perfectly white like it doesn't match um, the planner page perfectly so it just looks better in my opinion so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on I am measuring it alongside the other page so that it basically is in the same spot if that makes sense I want it to um, be even on both pieces of paper so that's why you see me putting it down picking it up putting it down <laughs> and there we go And there we go, we got it. I love the way this looks so far. <laughs> I am already super excited. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to basically tear out the pages from the paper block that I plan on using. I accidentally tore two of them and I did not mean to do that. But I'm going to use that paper, I'm going to use this because it's got a bunch of little boxes that I'm basically going to use as stickers. And I do end up ripping out one more page later on in this video that you'll see. So I end up using a total of three pages. And first thing I tried to do is use an X-Acto knife to cut it and it just wasn't working out for me. I am definitely more of a scissor person. So I am cutting the boxes out and I'm going to use my Elmer's tape runner to basically get them down. And voila, it looks like a sticker. <laughs> Um, I really love the smaller paper blocks when I'm planning weekly spreads because the designs are smaller on the paper. So a smaller surface area can still, you know, show a lot of design. So I'm taking my happy paper, I'm sorry, my happy planner classic punch, try saying that three times fast, um, and I'm cutting it and I'm cutting that in half again simply because I don't have full boxes right now since I've covered part of the boxes with washi tape if that makes any sense so I cut them in half and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that and I'm going to play around with layering so I'm going to take one of the little I guess I don't know paper pieces of paper block <laughs> what would you call this like a paper a paper square <laughs> and I'm going to layer that over it and I just think that looks so cute. I love layering stickers. I love layering pieces of paper from paper blocks when I'm planning. I just feel like it creates a lot of dimension. And I, for one, love a really busy spread. It's just my style of planning. And I love there to be like hardly any white on the page. So I feel like layering helps to create that busy look that some people really like, um, myself included. So that's why I love to layer. And it's so much fun when you're doing it with a paper block because there's so many different um, kinds of paper that you can you know layer with. So uh, I'm doing that again down here, as you can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and switch pages because I need to make sure I save some room for writing. And because of the style that I've chosen, and filling in those middle, that middle row, that whole middle row, I'm losing a lot of planning area, a lot of planning service area. So I need to make sure I don't go too crazy with the stickers on the top and bottom rows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the sidebar, which I usually don't do much in the sidebar. I know some people do gratitude and things like that, but I save that for my wellness planner. So really all I do is I will do like a weekly, uh, at a glance sometimes and other times I'll write my field hours for work. I really work 24 seven, so it's always hard to say work hours when I am working even when I'm at home sitting on my couch. So um, most of the time I write field hours, you'll notice. Um, and for anybody who is wondering and you don't know what I do for work, I do own a cleaning company. And even though I have a staff, I sometimes, or a lot of the times, am still cleaning myself. I'm hoping that one day I won't have to clean as much. I already don't have to clean as much, but I'm hoping one day I really won't have to clean at all. <laughs> so that's why I always have to keep track of my field hours. So I'm going to go ahead and um, what I did was I actually um, layered another um, paper block, paper paper square. <laughs> I really don't know what to call it. I layered two more pieces of paper and I put those down and I'm basically doing what I did on the other sheet. So that's why I'm cutting so many pieces of um, paper with the Happy Planner punch. 
what would you call this? Is it called a punch? Whenever I think happy planner punch, I think of the thing that like punches the disc holes, <laughs> but I really don't know what it's called. So, you know, feel free to correct me on that. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just keep laying down some stickers. In this case, I used the white piece of paper because the piece of paper that I layered over it is red. And you definitely wanna try to contrast your layering, otherwise it looks kind of silly when you do it otherwise. Um, what I'm also going to do is just put a small little baby sticker on this side, just because it was looking a little, a little, a little barren. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up there. I also hate symmetry, so as you can see, that's why I place my stickers every which freaking way. I really just like symmetry, so that's why I do that. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop back on over to the sidebar and I'm going to get ready to write down my field hours. I am finally tapping into the washi tape and you don't, I don't know if you can see it, but it actually has little Christmas trees on it. It's perfect. I got it as a gift. Um, it was on Amazon in a big pack for maybe like 11 bucks or something like that. But this one is just perfect. It matches beautifully with the spread. And originally I had a washi tape that was like, it had some green elements in it, but after, you know, getting to work on the spread, I decided that I wanted to keep it just red and white and black, um, just because I really love it. And that's, it's a nice theme just to keep it red. So I'm using my Erin Condren dual tip pen. I'm just gonna write, well, I can't fit hours, so I'm just gonna do HRS. And I'm gonna go ahead and write my hours. And again, I do apologize that you can't really see what I'm doing because, <laughs> because I'm a lefty, but I am basically writing the days of the week. And I'm going to go ahead and write my field hours, which took me a while because I could not remember when I was working. But I am really excited because we are uh, we are closed on Monday and we've never closed the Monday after Thanksgiving weekend, but it was a pretty slow day as it was. So the beautiful thing about owning a business is that you can close pretty much whenever you want. Um, so me and my business partner were like, you know what, we're going to go ahead and close up. <laughs> Then I'm gonna move on over and I'm going to start planning the week. Sometimes I will only plan Monday through Wednesday and other times I will plan the entire week. And in this case, I planned the entire week. So I'm going and writing some things that I remember off the top of my head, like my doctor's appointment that I have on Tuesday at seven. And then I'm gonna go ahead and Originally, I wasn't going to use any type of color with my pens, but I decided that a pen, a red pen might look really, really nice with this spread. So I'm kind of going to do my little subtitles with a red pen. So I just wrote today. I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see it a little bit better. And I'm just going to go ahead and write what I want to accomplish on Monday. And again, I am so sorry that you guys can't see what I'm writing uh, it's it's just difficult trying to film these as a lefty but you know it is what it is <laughs> So since the business is closed tomorrow, I do have a couple things planned, including a nail date with one of my friends from nail school. Um, and then I wrote cricket and sandwich day with my best friend because we plan on meeting up, getting some work done, playing around with our crickets, kind of having a little crafting party. And we really love this deli that's nearby. So <laughs> we had already decided that we're gonna get sandwiches from the deli. And that's why that's written in there. And then <laughs> I'm gonna, move on over to Tuesday and just write what I have going on. And I already know that I'm not gonna have time to do much on Tuesday because I have my doctor's appointment at seven and I'm working from 10.30 to six in the field. So that doesn't give me any time to really do anything. So I'm just gonna write myself a little note in the blank space because again, like I said, I really hate blank space. And I have to buy my mom this hair stuff that she's been begging me to buy y'all and I keep forgetting, so I figured writing that note might help me remember, and hopefully I can get to the store and get it at some point during the week. Then on Wednesday, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a piece of washi tape, just so that there's a little bit of substance in that column, because it just was looking a little bare to me. And because I'm the layer queen, I'm gonna go ahead and layer it. I'm actually cutting a little flag that you can't really see, because it's out of, out of the frame, but there we go. <laughs> I moved it back into frame and then I was all over the place. My apologies, but this little flag, I'm gonna go ahead and um, use the Elmer's 
runner to put to basically make the back sticky and put that there and then I'm just gonna write to do just because it looks cute <laughs> and I'm gonna write all of the things that I have to do on Wednesday and that is after work but I didn't bother writing my work um, hours just because I have them written on the sidebar anyway so I figured I wouldn't waste any uh, any space doing that. And then since there wasn't much going on on Wednesday night, I figured I would just write a little note to myself to rest and recharge, which is something I have to do pretty often. Um, I'm just very much an introvert and I am a chronic illness warrior and I deal with fatigue quite often. So it is very important for me to make sure I include a lot of rest time during my busy, busy schedule. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and move on over to the next week, I'm sorry, the next page, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. And similarly to the previous page, I am taking my Red Papermate Flare and basically writing in little, I don't know, subtitles, I guess, if you will. So in this case, I'm writing Remember. I try not to write the same thing, and I guess that's just because I really don't like repetitiveness. I don't like symmetry. I don't want things to be the same. So I wrote Today, To Do, whatever else I wrote. And so I decided to change it up and write Remember. And I'm just writing a couple of things, a couple reminders and to-dos for myself for Thursday. And I'm going to basically do the same for Friday but I'm gonna write today. And let me just say, fitting in lettering in these tiny little pieces of box that I have is very difficult, but I did make it work. Um, I didn't want to put the stickers in the columns because, I don't know, I just kind of wanted them to be sporadic. It was just the vision that I had. There really is no right or wrong way to plan, y'all. If you don't wanna put your stickers in the columns, in the rows, you don't have to. That's the beautiful thing about planning. You do it the way you wanna do it. So I'm basically just filling in some extra stuff here, some things I have to remember. And I'm even writing things that I don't even know if I can, if I'll be able to do them because I have to talk to, you know, for example, I have to talk to my co-host. I put Record Coffee and Canoodles, which is my podcast. And shameless plug, be sure to follow Coffee and Canoodles on Instagram. And find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and SoundCloud. We are a super fun R-rated podcast about all things love, relationships, and sisterhood. And it is so much fun. I love recording every other week. And um, yeah, I really look forward to doing that this week. <laughs> So I'm moving on to Saturday and there's just a couple things I want to get done. Saturdays and Sundays are usually my cleanup days, my days to plan, my days to relax, be productive, get some office work done, things like that. So basically, I basically want to just clean, wrap some Christmas presents because I have so many sitting in my garage right now that need to be wrapped. And I always love to do some social media work, like work on Instagram photos and film some YouTube you know, videos and things like that. So. I always wanna make sure I'm getting that done. And then I do have plans to host the gingerbread house making contest that I do every single year with my best friend and my boyfriend. And her boyfriend will be joining us this year, so I'm hoping we can get that done um, on Saturday because the weekends are like booking up fast, y'all. So I didn't even confirm that with them, but I wrote it in, so I was like, I hope we can, we can do this because I know the next two weekends are gonna be crazy busy, especially because my birthday's coming up soon. And for Sunday, I'm going to go ahead and lay another piece of that gorgeous washi tape that I am so totally in love with because, again, it was looking a little bare and I just like to add a little extra oomph to my spreads. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and cut out another flag. So I'm going to place it and, again, I'm going to write to do because that's the only thing that'll fit in the flag. And I'm just gonna write a couple things that I wanna make sure I get done, like film another YouTube video because I am trying to be consistent and of course, plan the following week. Can you guys believe it's getting so close to Christmas day? I cannot even believe it, but I am so excited. And of course, I'm just gonna write myself a little, uh, a little goal, <laughs> if you will. I wanna have a Christmas movie night and uh, that's why I wrote that in there. <laughs> And I decided that I might want to try to see my niece Mia, which is why I wrote that in there at the very last minute. 
And here we go. We are just about done. As I was looking at it over, I kind of decided that it was still too bare on the top where the dates are so I was thinking long and hard about it I decided to whip out one of my happy planner books I pulled out my Christmas book and I decided to throw a couple of stickers on the bottom and on the top so I decided to put season's greetings in there on the bottom and then hello winter kind of just snuck it in there because again I hate white space just who I am as a person and then I flipped on over to another page where I saw some really cute candy cane stickers um, and I thought these would be perfect. So um, I'm pulling them out of the book along with a little snowflake sticker. Just making sure there's nothing else I wanna use. And I'm gonna go ahead and put those down just kind of sporadically at the top. Just thought it would look really, really nice because again, you know me and my white space, I don't like it. So I'm putting those candy cane stickers down and that's it, we are all done. I really, really love the way this spread came out. I love how full of Christmas and joy and life it is. And I hope you like it too. And if you do like the way this spread came out, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as I will be posting a lot more videos in the future. I look forward to chatting with you guys again soon. And in the meantime, have a lovely week. Bye.